This is Twit. So uh, we're, we're unable to stop talking about, for better or for worse, the Windows 10 <laughs> October 2018 uh, update. Uh, the infamous build 1809 uh, has another problem. Uh, so as we know, uh, the good news is it's still not really re-released yet. So they found this uh, in some preview build 18234, also known as, known as 19H1. Who, I've, I've not been tracking all this cryptic. 19H1 is the next one. Okay. So this okay. is 1809 is the one that was supposed to come out now, September yes. 2018. That now you're talking about 1903, basically, which is 19H1, the first half of 2019. So that's oh. an insider. That's that's in the insiders are getting this now. Okay. You know, there's well, something uh, wrong with the process at Microsoft. This is actually yeah. getting to be problematic. I mean, yeah. seriously. And and we you know Leo, we're looking for that in that new era of enhanced productivity. Oh, you know, was Lord. that was that what they were that's advertising? Something in the most secure version yeah. of Windows ever. That, right. <laughs> as that we one. well remember, uh, there I've seen a number XP. of articles uh, recently saying the problem really is the way Microsoft does this, which is they've got a code base, they do these short like six week sprints to add a feature, so they spend a long time thinking of the features. They in six to eight weeks they create the feature. There's no testing at that point. They lay it into a testing version, which they then test for a long period of time. This is how they did it when they did three-year releases, but they're still doing this now for these biannual releases. Uh. And it's not an effective testing process. They need a, a better way of testing before they get them into these beta releases. Uh, that may be. There may be a structural problem here. We'll talk about yeah. it tomorrow on Windows Weekly, I'm sure. So as we know... When the content, uh, those of us who are Power Windows users uh, and who understand zip files, when the content of a zip file extraction would cause the overwrite of an existing same named file within the archive, yes. the user, I know, Leo, get, are you sitting down? <laughs> the user should be prompted yeah. about the pending it's overwrite. Yeah. That's right, a file naming collision, and asked whether to replace or skip the extraction of the colliding file. Doesn't it mean. turns out <laughs> that build 1809 uh, is reportedly and reproducibly Ugh. either overwriting existing zip file content without notification or silently failing and doing nothing. Mm. So the good news is this problem has been caught before, what, well, what I wrote, now I'm not sure. Uh, I saw it, it's been caught before the full formal re-release of Build 1809, uh, but it was reported as being in 1809. I assumed it was the pre-release people. Yeah, yeah. Um, a recent tweet by an IT staff engineer at Microsoft on the Windows Insider program team indicated that this problem has been resolved back on October 6th with the Windows Insider preview build 18.234, which is 19H1. Huh. So, so that okay, means they fix it for the next generation. Yeah, well, they clearly have to fix it now. <laughs> they need to fix it for both. <laughs> Yeah. And and I know that this is just – I'm kicking this dead horse one last time. But in some recent reporting over on Computer World, I noted that Microsoft's forensic analysis revealed that as many as 1,500 instances of Build 1809's pre-release testers had their files deleted and complained oh. – Without Microsoft noticing. Microsoft so, said it was 1%, 1 percent, 1 one hundredth of 1%. Yeah. What did you just well, say? What percentage? 1,500 by number. Oh, okay. 1,500. That might fit. Uh, that might fit. Because remember, yeah, a lot of people try these builds. You know, this is a they public did. build. Uh, yeah. They did. And, uh, but a lot got bit. And Microsoft yeah, said, a lot oh, of we, we, we missed that one. A lot of people with bad data. Uh, also, I should just note that I, after talking about this for the last, <laughs> the last few podcasts, 
uh, in between then and now, I updated the machine I'm talking to you on, Leo. This 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 camera that I'm yeah, looking at yeah. uh, is running Windows 10. It was running Windows 10 Home, which was what came pre-installed on the little Windows 10 box that I just grabbed. Uh, t just a little turnkey box. Anyway, it's now running Pro. I because I'm an MSDN subscriber, so okay. it doesn't cost me anything to update. So I updated to Pro since I definitely decided that I want to begin hanging back from each month's security updates as well as the biannual <laughs> feature unquote update. Right. Uh, you know, there's nothing I need that much each month that's worth being bit like this and you know i'd i'd rather let them you know i think that the the, the security release we would know within a week if it was causing problems so you know i've set that to you know give me two weeks and i, I think i set it to 30 days for the feature uh update because we would know by then if it's something if you really should put it off further so uh, again, uh, and, and, and as I mentioned, Windows 10 Home does not give you the option to delay, to defer these. You take them when they make them available. Uh, I hope that our listeners uh, consider after you know this painful if October, this set of October surprises, uh, can, you know, consider deferring as I now have enough. I mean, so much so that I switched to, to the pro version just so that I, you know, I could have that feature. It's, it just seems wrong that Microsoft is, you know, making is being stingy about that. No, we're going to make you have pro if you want to, you know, <laughs> defer. It's like, my God, okay.